This is where we take it all back. Either that, or we get nothing. Don't you come back no more. What do you think gives you power? Is it your crown? Is it the fact that you're king? Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. If respect is the only thing protecting you from a knife in the back, don't you come back no respect more. is nothing, right? Have you noticed that from the beginning of this, don't you come back no more. before Wilbur, before everyone, just with those discs, no matter what happens here, you know, if yeah. this is all blown up, if you have a thousand men by your side, if you have all of the best PvPers, if Ten of Blaze was or not, it's me and you versus Dream. What you say? Now this. What? Now this is the vault. I am ready for revolution, boys. Manberg Pogtopia? <laughs> Who cares? The thing that I built this nation for doesn't exist anymore. It's over. What are you doing? You know, if I die, this country goes down with me. You had a dream and I followed it, but you brought it downhill. Everything, you, you ruined it. I did not spend weeks planning this revolution, giving you guys gear for you guys to go in and replace one tyrant with another. Don't you see what's happening here? That was the same film. Don't you see history repeating itself? By a traitor. It was never meant to be. Don't you come back no more. Do it, Phil. Kill me. Phil, kill me. You're, you're my son! Yes! You want to be a hero, Tommy? Then die like one! Violence does call me, I've answered before. I've made many enemies, I've settled my scores. But I did grow weary and I settled down and proudly bore the weight of my crown. I lived on my lonesome away in the far, where there was no violence to trouble my heart. I'd hung up my sword and I'd raised up my hoe, and I lied as I said that I never would go. But came a cry from a man that I'd known, someone to whom never compassion I'd shown, and so I opened up my door to the man who promised me blood and war. Oh, woe to thee, ye people of order, I hope your homes continue to smolder, and that you never rise again, and leave me be, and leave my friends. I followed him far to a distant land, where he had been exiled by one single man. His horns, they were wicked, his power was great, and you looked in his eyes and were swallowed by hate. 
He took me to shelter his humble abode, a pitiful cavern his comrades called home. He handed me bedding and bid me adieu, and I sat and I pondered on what I should do. For I crave violence, I crave to be free from the people who wish to control me. Yes, I believe in anarchy's reign, and I know that dictators only bring pain. Oh, woe to thee, ye people of order, I hope your homes continue to smolder, and that you never rise again, and leave me be and leave my friends. I prepared for battle, I hoarded and schemed, but I did not know all was not what it seemed. My allies unstable, their loyalty thin. Yes, we would have victory, but what would we win? The battle was chaos, blood roared in my ears. A chain of explosions, they looked up with fear. They set up a leader and shouted hoorays. And I shuddered and realized that I'd been betrayed. Is this what you want? Corruption and power? Well, I won't stand for it. This is my hour. Now I release my beasts upon thee. And I laughed in pain as I watched them all flee. Oh, woe to thee, ye people of order. I hope your homes continue to smolder and that you never rise again. And woe to those that called me a friend. I fled until silence was all I could hear. The voices went screaming, now hummed in my ears. The cold, it was lonely, but I was alone. And I promised that I'd not let blood taint my home. But then came a message from my only friend. Or warrior, hide, or else this is the end. They bound up my wings and they hunt for your head. They promised me justice, but they'll see you dead. They came to me with an armed battalion and held an axe to my innocent stallion and said, Now it is your turn to bow. See how the king has fallen now. They raised an anvil and laid me below. They thought to crush me painful and slow, but I did live and I did flee, and I put my pick through the butcher's teeth. Oh, woe to thee, ye people of order, I hope your homes continue to smolder, and that you never rise again, and woe to those that called me a friend.